Hey guys, it's me Stormy and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of January 15th. First things first, our winner of our giveaway from last week is Miss Scarlett Chavis. I think I'm saying that correctly. So congratulations to you. And this week I have got another big old mystery box for you. What's in it? Oh, I can't tell you. It's a mystery. But if you are interested in winning it, all you have to do is like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and you will be in the running and I will choose a winner next Wednesday. Now this week going on for us, Capricorn energy is just dominant. It is about getting us out in the world. We've got this new moon happening in Capricorn, just dominating the week, really, truly. And so this is about rethinking how we're putting ourselves out in the world. What's our soul level calling? How are we representing ourselves? The projection of you is really something we are working on this year because you've got to solidify this reputation. Granted, you've got three years to work on it, but it starts right now. Now, this new moon happening on Tuesday the 16th is going to be joining all whole cast of characters, right? We've got the sun, we've got Venus here, we've got Mercury, and we've got Pluto over there. Now, this is my deal because every single new moon is about new beginnings. Anything is possible. New ventures, all of these things. What I would tell you is any past goals that you had, any current plans that you're working on. If you were thinking you wanted to be an astronaut when you grew up, look back over that plan. This is a wonderful time to bring any plan for your future, getting yourself out there, getting yourself known, right? fulfilling your soul level calling, this is the time to gain that new perspective. Plant those seeds of intention so over the next coming weeks, you can watch these start to develop. Now, our energy gets a little bit more forward movement when we get to Wednesday, January 17th. We've got Venus entering into Aquarius. Love this. I really love this energy because what it does is it brings some excitement. First of all, it can bring some excitement to your relationships, brings new perspectives. It brings new perspectives, new innovative approaches to your finances, right? In some ways, you may not wanna be conventional. You may not wanna be traditional. You will be pushing for a sense of moving out of where you were into something different. Now, we've also had just this last week, Venus and Uranus in a square. And this made you feel like I need space in these relationships. I gotta get out of here. I gotta do this different. This is that energy to do it different. It doesn't mean you have to go break up. It means now you may see how to be innovative and move something forward or at least be willing to investigate the possibilities, okay? Now the sun is going to get on board with that as well. So Friday, January 19th, the sun is also going to move into Aquarius now. Sun, Venus energy in Aquarius is like it's light, it's energy, it's movement. It's a very harmonious and productive energy as well. So one of the things that I would tell you to think about, the energies you have to work with, because the Sun and Venus are going to be right here in Aquarian energy for the rest of the month. Now, granted, everything's dominating here in Capricorn energy, but you've got this newness that you've really got to work on. If you've got to get yourself out there, how are you going to do it? What's your strategy? What's your plan of attack? I need you to go on ahead and amplify and organize your resources or get some new resources to get them together. Because over the next month, what you can be considering is first of all, break those walls. Follow that Aquarian Uranian energy. Get out of the tradition of what you've been doing. Whatever you've been doing, if it hasn't been producing a result that's making you feel free, showing you actual performance results, get rid of it. Start to look for new ways and get vulnerable. Get intuitive. If someone's doing something even close to what you're trying to get done, follow their lead. Learn what they're doing. It doesn't mean be them, but learn about how they're doing it, right? Aquarian energy is also extra, extra social. These are friendly people. This is a friendly energy. We want to network. We want to collaborate. We want to talk. We want to share information. Get out. Go network. Network online. Join that group you've been thinking about. Join that group that you've been saying, I'm not ever going to join that group. Do it because they may have some information for you, right? If your colleagues or other people in your industry or your friends or your neighbors say, hey, do you want to hang out? You want to, I'm having a barbecue? Go. Go, go be social because you never know where your little golden nuggets of information are waiting. Here's the other thing when we think about Aquarian energy. It's about technology. This is a very stimulating technological energy. Do you need to upgrade? 
right? The sun and Venus want to beautify. They want to harmonize. They want to upgrade. So if you need to upgrade, this would be a wonderful time to be able to make some plans to do that. And if you have to make a financial plan to upgrade, make a financial plan to upgrade. Look for different ways. I've been using this app called Sweatcoin. Oh my God! So cool. I would have never thought that just walking, I could start to make money. This is not advertised or endorsed or anything. I'm just telling you about it. So if that's something you're interested in, check that out. There's a lot of ways to use this technology as well to bring some additional finance, bring some additional peace, bring some additional resource into your life. Now, the last thing I would tell you to really spend the rest of this month considering, looking over, getting excited about is what do you want to do? What are you passionate about? What do you want to see? What do you want to explore? What do you want to know about? Who do you want to talk to, right? Make this list, kind of that like to-do list, my goals list, a vision board, whatever it is, and start to set yourself on a resourced course of strategy to get to the goal that you want to get to. It's just all you have to do is tell the truth about what it is that you want to do. This Capricorn energy is going to help you accept responsibility for understanding it's your life, it's your world. You've got to make some moves, but you may be stuck and this energy will help you get unstuck and also help you find the resources of people who can help you move forward, of apps, of items that can help you move forward. So really a very good week. I think it's an exciting week. I think we're dominated by this energy of do something different and responsibility. So whatever it is, you're making moves to get you out there and I highly 100% support you. I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. It's happening this Thursday, the 18th. We will be meeting at um, 7 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. So I look forward to seeing you in there. If you can't be in there, but you still want to get in on the ish, a video can definitely be sent to you. So just make sure you get signed up by the 15th, okay? I love you guys. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.